water line is going to go into the house and how I get this hole I just take a hammer and I literally just smack it into the block until it busts a hole like this and since there's weight on this block it's going to bust through uh, pretty clean all right if you look here I just put that pex right into the ditch and where I took it into the house all I did was let me show you here real quick I just put a inch and a half piece of pipe, fished it through so that way it isn't up against these rough edges of the block where I busted it out. And then all I'm doing now is th this ground's really soft. It's like sand almost. I'm just covering up this pipe with it so when they go to, go to backfill, a big rock or something won't fall down and smash the pipe. This was footage from six months ago before making this video. Got the water line in. Now we just got covered up. I got my water supply line ran up to my water meter. So I'm going to show you how to connect your main water line from your house to the water meter. So this black plastic pipe coming up, this is polyethylene pipe. And this is PEX pipe buried directly in the ground. And I'm going to show you how to transition from PEX to the polyethylene pipe. And right here is the meter. So if you look down in here, that is my connection on this side. So whenever there is a house already hooked at the corner of the property, you're gonna to have to connect typically to a pipe they have stubbed up out of the ground. So I just wanted to show you inside of that meter. And these meters, in order to open them up, always have this wonky little nut or bolt type thing. And it just twists here, this little piece here. And that's what unhooks it from the uh, water meter itself so you can lift this lid off pretty easy. All right, I'm gonna show you the parts you'll need to do this. Sorry, it's a little breezy out here. So if you hear some wind noise, I apologize. But long story short, this is the adapter you're going to need to take the polyethylene pipe over to this um, male threaded piece. And then you got this female threaded piece that goes to PEX. So it's gonna to go together right like this. I'm gonna show you the tools and uh, the things you'll need to do that. The tools you'll need to do this job is the PEX crimping tool, and you will also need a way of cutting water pipe, and this is the best way, is this ratchet pipe cutter. And you're just going to need a simple ratchet, and the bit for the crimp rings that go over the polyethylene pipe is uh, looks like a 5 16 and then this is the adapter I just showed you. This is actually made for uh, well pumps. So that got this from Lowe's, got this from Lowe's. That's the other adapter I just showed you. Um, and then you just got two wrenches to put these together. Then we got pipe dope and then we got teff tape in order to put these together, make a nice watertight seal. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and take this stuff out of the package, obviously. All right, so we just gotta make this threaded connection right here. So what I like to do first is take the TEF tape. And since we know this twists this way, right? So when we, we know we wanna break the um, actual TEF tape going this way. So let's go ahead and put this around here and go this way. And you don't have to put a ton of this on, but I like to go around it at least five times or so. Okay, something like that. Okay, and now what I like to do is use this stuff called pipe dope. It's a uh, great white in this case is what it's called by Oakley or OT, however you pronounce that. So anyways, just take this, just put a little gob around the thread, the threads here. And again, some people use either or, but I like to use both, just why not, right? You can never have enough protection. So go ahead and just twist that on. Always go as far as I can go by hand first. And now just take a uh, pipe wrench and, a, and uh, you can either use two pipe wrenches or just use a pair of, um, vice grips or something to hold one side as long as you can twist the other that's the main thing so we're going to hold it like this and then get your pipe wrench on there 
All right, and you don't have to tighten this up as hard as you can. You risk damaging the fitting, so just tighten it up relatively tight. Again, just don't tighten it to where you're gonna break anything, so. Depending on your strength, everybody's different there. Okay. So that's all there is to putting these two pieces together. So again, PEX on this side and your polyethylene pipe on this side. So let's go install it. All right, let's head over here to these water lines and get them connected. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Josh. This channel is all about building your own house, saving a ton of money. So be sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you get a notification every time I release a new video and smash that like button for me. That really is all I ask in return for making this video. Okay, we're over here where our water lines are. Let's get them connected. All right, so let me get the pecs over here about where I'm going to need it. So first thing we want to do is cut these pipes. So I'm going to say we want to cut it about right in this area here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but let me grab my pipe cutters. Okay. So I'm going to just clamp right over where I want to cut it. Right in there looks good. All right, looks like there's a little water laying in the pipe. Okay, we're gonna get that out of the way. So now that we got the pipe cut, we gotta install our fitting that we made here. So we need to first put our uh, clamp rings on first, because it's harder to get them on afterwards. You'd have to unloosen the whole thing to do it. And then this is gonna push right into that black pipe. And these can be a pain to get on sometimes because these barbed fittings are challenging um, to get to come off and on so okay all right looks like we got it down all the way to the black plastic is touching the actual fitting so now all we got to do is tighten these crimp rings up okay so we know that barb piece goes clear down here so we want to space these out about half inch from each other and you don't want to over tighten these it's very easy to strip out these clamp rings and at any point you don't feel confident in doing a job like this if you're trying to do it always seek a professional that was the hardest part of this connection is getting this on well so now we got to connect our plastic pex pipe to this so we got to cut it off at the appropriate length so right here looks about right and now take your pipe cutter cut it off right where you need it okay and we're going to go ahead and dry fit it first and that looks about right all right so what we want to do slide your crimp ring over the pipe and now this is going to be our final install here so slide your crimp ring within an eighth inch from that fitting and take your tool here so make sure it's crimped down all the way and release Now that gets us, gives us a nice solid connection. So right there is what it should look like by the time you transition everything together. This is what it looks like up close. We got our PEX transitioning to our polyethylene pipe and we got our three quarter crimp ring on, just an eighth from the edge. And then there's our joint we made while we were up on the truck's tailgate. And then we got two um, pipe clamps just holding that piece of polyethylene pipe over the barbed end of that fitting. So that's all there is to it. Not too complicated, but if you've never done it, it's probably something you need to know how to do. So now that we got our pipe connections all complete, now all I gotta do is put some dirt over that. And I always do that with a shovel first, so that way I know that there's no big rocks gonna be pushed down on top of this water line when the equipment comes in to backfill all this dirt in. So. That's very important to do. It's just a little safety precaution. And I know a lot of people, what they like to do is just use straight sand. So that's fine too if you have some on hand, but if you don't, 
just uh, fill it in with some loose dirt. That's my best recommendation. If you see that dirt, there's no big rocks in it, that's what you want. And uh, just a word of advice too, I don't know how familiar you are with uh, excavating, but you always call 811, it's misutility, before you dig, especially around stuff like this where there could be power lines um, or underground power of any kind or any kind of water lines. So that way all the lines are marked before you start digging. So be sure you do that before you do a project like this. So just word of advice. And within five minutes, it was covered up. All right, I'm gonna show you how to reinstall this cover. So if you look underneath of it, there's a little lip right here. So that's gonna to have to catch inside the lip of the hole, the little metal ring that's around the hole. So slide that in first. Okay. And then twist this counterclockwise until it falls back into the uh, hole itself. Then go ahead and tighten this down. And this is just an awkward shaped bolt head. I'm not sure what they're called, but and you don't want to tighten it down where it breaks anything, just snug. So that's uh, nice and tight. And you always want to put it whatever side of the meter when they read it for what house. So this one would be for that house. This one would be for the house I'm building. If you have any questions or comments about this project, be sure to put them in the comment section below and I will get to them as soon as possible. And be sure to hammer that like button for me. That's all I ask for making this video. All right, guys, I got a honey-do list I got to do, so I got to stop working on the house today and get that done because I don't want her mad at me. So I'm going to get that done. And again, thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you get a notification every time I release a new video. And hammer that like button. I'm telling you, that's what I need. All right, guys, see you in the next video.